NRA members and gun owners helped put President Trump over the top. The left's message is absolutely clear. They want revenge. You've got to be punished. They say you're what's wrong with America, and now you've got to be purged. Maybe it's time these protesters took some advice from Barack Obama. The election has consequences, and we won. That's right. They called people fascists, yet they used the same brutal tactics that the fascists used in Europe in the 20s and the 30s. The leftist media is responsible for blowing the winds of violence as well. Think about it. It's bad enough when CNN openly fantasizes about what happens if the president-elect is assassinated before he takes the oath of office on Inauguration Day. When unelected, unaccountable judges can take that clear, unambiguous language and then twist it and pervert it to make it mean whatever they want, they might as well throw a Molotov cocktail at the U.S. Constitution. And make no mistake, if the violent left brings their terror to our communities, our neighborhoods, or into our homes, they will be met with the resolve and the strength and the full force of American freedom in the hands of the American people. And we will win because we are the majority in this country. Show them that we will not submit. We will not be intimidated. We will never surrender. Stand up, speak out, be bold, fight back, and stand with the NRA to defend the greatest expression of human freedom ever witnessed on the planet, the United States of America.